Mrs. Causey. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I would like to make a motion that we amend the fiscal year 2019 state capital budget request by priority order that we add Delaney High School and Towson High School as items number 25 and 26, respectively, for planning for replacement schools with the seats to be determined. The dollar amount would be zero until staff evaluates the budget needed to do a proper planning and design and requests it on the coming county capital budget request that will be presented to the board in December of 2017. The items currently numbered 26 to 34 would remain on the list, just two places lower. All right, there's a motion to amend. Is there a second? Second. All right, discussion on Mrs. Gauzy. Thank you, Mr. Chair, for allowing me to speak to my motion. Here at the board, we have heard uh, for my tenure, certainly, and even before my tenure on the board, two and some years now, about the issues of capital construction facilities. And in hearing those discussions year after year, and I do want to say also, I appreciate the work of the superintendent and the staff in responding to us. As I have said in emails, and I'll say it publicly, this is more information than the board has ever received uh, from previous administrations. So I do appreciate your efforts to be more transparent and to be more informative uh, to the board. And it's with that information that I feel this is the time and this is the place to add Towson and Delaney. As uh, was pointed out in your responses, Sometimes projects can take, high school projects can take six years. And in the information that you've given us about when the high schools will be at uh, maximum capacity coming is 2025. And fiscal year 2019 plus six is 2025. So we cannot delay making it known that these schools need to be put on the list as replacements. Also, in the priority order that was just recapped by um, our superintendent is priority on the number of seats and AC, educational programming, and other infrastructural needs. And Towson and Delaney both fall into those categories. Uh, Delaney with its high school MEP score, which is 1.48, puts it as the worst high school MEP that does not have a plan of how our students are going to be taken care of. And Towson, as we all know, is um, overcrowded now, only headed to be more so. Um, so by putting the planning and design money in now, it will allow the um, BCPS administration and staff to plan and design both high schools, utilizing economies of scale, considering logistical synergies, and it informs communities that these replacement schools are recognized as Board of Education and school system priorities due to Delaney's high school MEP score and Towson's high school's overall low building score and chief among other uh, documented deficits, lack of AC, inadequate space, overcrowding, and obsolete buildings. Our priority in planning and design of these high schools must be to provide the most safe, cost-effective, and timely construction process with the least disruption to the academic programs to meet our vision of providing safe and healthy 21st century learning environments to our students. So all of the information and responses just further confirms that this is the time that we need to do this. Other comments on the motion to amend, which is to add number 25, Towson High, and 26 as Delaney High, and then to push the others down the list. Mr. McDaniels and then Mrs. Hen. Um, I would certainly support the effort of um, moving toward Delaney and Towson, both having 21st century and safe um, schools for the students to learn. Um, I think both of those schools have demonstrated a high academic achievement, and we want to support those schools in every way possible. Um, the concern I have um, by specifically adding these two schools is that I don't think the board at this time could have uh, information about all our high schools that would indicate that those two in particular should be prioritized over maybe another school that exists out there. Um, and um, without some kind of objective way of comparing our high schools, um, I'm concerned about just picking those two. Although, again, I'm not uh, opposed to addressing the needs that might exist there. The other concern I have is we just recently looked at four school, four high schools that were um, under consideration for renovation, and we chose 
for whatever reason, not to completely rebuild those schools. And I am not sure how Delaney and Towson would compare to the schools that we just chose to renovate. And in terms of fairness and equity, um, I just don't know why we, we would set out a plan specifically to rebuild those two schools when we just chose to renovate schools, that some of which had uh, greater needs in terms of the building construction. So, um, again, I'm not objecting to addressing needs at Delaney and um, Towson, but I think we have to objectively look at how we do that. Mrs. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, Ms. Causey's motion, which I wholeheartedly support, does not request dollars for, to start this process. It requests state approval for the planning process. Ms. White, I thank you for your um, commitment to supporting um, Delaney's and Towson's needs or whatever schools have priority needs through the county capital process. By requesting um, this approval in the state process, we are recognizing these schools' needs as a board. We've already recognized that. The facts are not in dispute. We have data to respond to Mr. McDaniel's comments. We have data on enrollment trends. We have data from the facility score that shows these needs. Again, the needs are not in dispute. It's what can we do as a board now to get the ball rolling for Delaney and Towson. Other questions or comments? Mrs. Miller. Yes, thank you. I, I also support the motion, um, and I appreciate Mr. McDaniel's comments, especially with regard to the need for prioritization. And I just want to re reiterate what we've heard many times from fellow board member Ms. Causey about the need for a strategic facilities master plan, um, and that is something that we need to be working on. But um, again, we're not asking for uh, money funding along with this request. And Delaney was on the schedule at the, la the last time. Uh, so it had already been selected by the system as a school that um, was prioritized. Other questions or comments? Well, I, I just said real quick that the allusion to the fact that we are interested in having a long-term study or at least a <clears throat> more formalized study from this board on our capital facilities speaks to the notion that this is a process that involves many individuals and many partners, that involves the state, involves the county. In fact, because we have no taxing authority, it necessi necessarily excuse me, um, requires us to, to have those partners involved. And so for us to, at this moment, be able to interject um, in such a substantial and significant way without having a more fulsome process as it relates to the specific funding concerns, I think can be problematic. I'd like to add that um, um, the process is one, and we've heard from Mr. Smith and Ms. White in the past, is a fluid one. Um, and we know that we need the funding authorities uh, support to proceed with this process. And we've also just heard from Mrs. White and from Mr. Smith that there is continuing conversation with our local funding authority, uh, the county, regarding this matter. I think I would urge the board to uh, defeat the motion to amend, to vote in support of the 2019 capital budget as presented, and to continue to advocate to our county uh, to address the concerns that Mrs. Causey uh, uh, articulated. Um, we know that the process can and will be amended over the course of time between its October submission and the time that the legislature eventually votes on a capital budget in May 2018, and the opportunity for us to advocate and effectively advocate. And I can tell you, I look around the room and there's some pretty darn good advocates here um, uh, that uh, are making progress, and I think that uh, we need to get our funding authorities on board with these decisions uh, before we um, tweak and, and perhaps harm our entire state capital budget presentation. Um, Mr. Hayden. Um, I, I sense a, <clears throat> a reluctance uh, for the board to state a position that benefits the children of Baltimore County. <clears throat> and I think that's what we're all about. We are to present on behalf of the children of Baltimore County, a plan that we feel will best benefit the future of education in Baltimore County. If we don't do that, we're making a huge mistake. 
um, sort of been there, done that in a, another time in my education career. And, and it comes back to haunt you. You have to go to the table with things that make sense. And the fact that political entities don't agree with you, you have to go ahead, take a position, and then work on convincing them that that's the position that makes sense for the children of Baltimore County. And that's what we're all about. That's our responsibility. And the fact that somebody says, well, the county executive won't do this or won't do that, um, again, the county executive listens to citizens in Baltimore County. Uh, when I was a member of this board many years ago, um, we regularly uh, went to the mat with the county executive about issues where we disagreed. And that was something that made sense for Baltimore County in that we were getting ideas and issues out there rather than saying, let's put our arms around each other and walk out smiling. We wanted to come to something that everybody had worked through, everybody agreed on, even after a struggle to say, this is where we're going to go. The county executive, as the funding authority in, in the final instance, uh, does have the ability to say yay or nay. But then again, the county executive does listen, believe it or not, I know something about that one too, uh, does listen to what people say. Uh, so the more people you can have standing up and saying, this is the right thing to do for the boys and girls of Baltimore County, the more successful we'll be rather than standing back and saying, let's just, let's be nice now and maybe next year. We can't wait for next year. I, I quite frankly, in my new tenure as a board member, as opposed to my former tenure as a board member, I'm shocked by the condition of our school buildings in Baltimore County, just utterly shocked. Uh, there are buildings in this county that uh, would not have looked like this when I was here before, and and uh, the fact that we haven't made more progress is just really uh, disappointing. Um, Ms. Young. I understand. Uh Mr. McDaniel's point about, you know, right now not knowing where, what schools. What we have to remember is, yes, we're here to, to make the decision. What we also have to remember is there is a Board of Public Works that does not have a problem with holding funding from us, particularly when their issue is on AC. And right now, as we look at this capital plan, there is no plan for AC for Delaney High School. You know, as we look at this, we see that Towson High School is well over capacity. At some point, we're not going to be able to solve that by putting trailers there. What we have to do is make a decision that says, okay, we're going to start somewhere. It may not be the best place, but we have to show that to the state that we have a plan in place, that we're looking out for the best interest of our children, and that if necessary, as we get more data, we will modify it. But we have to start somewhere. All right, others. Ms. Schaefer, you haven't had a chance to speak. Thank you. Uh, while I may not have the ethos on this situation, I am a student whose school recently got renovated. Uh, Pikesville High School had a limited renovation. and. In my perspective, I think it heightened student morale. I think it inspired more students to come to class. And I think with Towson and Delaney, while they are at the center focus of our county, they're in the centermost area, I think students do deserve that chance where their building is crumbling or like lands down, they're sinking uh, with a limited renovation that could do wonders on student egos, uh, how they perform in school, because if you're sitting in a building like this, where it's like nice, white, clean walls, and there's technology available, and the school isn't falling apart, it's different. Um, I think that it affects your performance in testing or in schools, but um, as a student from Pikesville, I think learning in the trailers was very different than learning in a new building, and I think you can see that as you learn in a school like Towson right now as its state. Um, this is just food for food for thought, but I think that um, while it is important to give these schools a chance, I'm unsure of the haste that we may have on putting these schools on the list, but I think it's important for this 
schools to have the opportunity for that. Mrs. Miller and then Mr. McDaniels. Um, the way that we advocate best for these schools is to make the request. And we want to make that request from a position of strength, not weakness. I, it doesn't make any sense to say we shouldn't make a request for funding to the state. We should sit back and advocate some more. We've done a lot of advocating already. we got to make a request. And as Mr. Young pointed out, they'll either accept it or they won't. But they certainly won't give us the money if we don't make the request. Uh, I think that's all I have to say. Mr. McDaniels and then Mr. Yolkoff. Thank you. Uh, I, I wanted to uh, support very much what Mr. Hayden said about putting forth uh, issues that best support the students of Baltimore County, whatever that may be. Um, I also think we have to do it in a way where that's fair and equitable. And the same board within the last six months just approved not a replacement, but a renovation for schools that were, uh, according to the objective data, some in worse shape than Delaney. And I don't know how, again, we could come back just a few months later and recommend to the funding authorities that we replace two schools when we had schools just a couple months ago that we uh, approved a renovation. It just doesn't seem equitable around uh, in serving all the county. Mr. Yulefelder. Um, I agree with everyone. Um, <laughs> now, let me clarify that. Um, I, I agree uh, with what Mr. McDaniels just said. However, I, I think that the process um, is such that uh, by, by including this on the list, I think all we're shown is the good faith of the board. Um, and you have to remember that the state funding is a very small part of the total overall funding uh, of any capital project here in the county. Uh, so I think just from a standpoint that I'll support this only because I want to show the good faith. But I certainly agree with Mr. McDaniels that, that we can't slap these other schools in the face by saying that uh, we chose to delay a renovation on, on several schools uh, wait to a time when we can push for, for our new school buildings. Um, there are many, as I look down this list, we have many schools that are overcrowded, and perhaps some elementary and some middle schools that are more overcrowded than Towson. So if you want to use overcrowd as your criteria for building a, a, ta a new Towson, I think you got to go a long way to look at the other schools. I only support this to show good faith. That is the only way I would support it. Certainly, if it had dollars attached to it, I would not support it at all. All right, there's a motion to amend on the floor. Um, Ms. Schaefer, I'll remind you, you don't vote on these matters. Uh, all in <laughs> favor All in favor of the motion to amend to add uh, number 25 and 26, Towson and Delaney. Without dollars. Without dollars. Please raise your hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The motion carries. All right.